And hello everybody, welcome back to Civilization 4. We are playing Dawn of Civilization mod, which is the sort of sub-mod for the, uh, I'd say successor mod actually is a better term, for Rise of Fall Civilization. I'm your host, Exilius. We are going to continue where we left off, which was building or reinforcing our still quite, uh, quite stable empire of Egypt. And I'm very happy with the empire we've built so far. I do want to get this road to connect that city up for us, so that's what we're going to get going there. You're actually going to go and help with that. And yeah, uh, the Eastern Roman Empire has risen up. And, ooh, the Colossus. I wonder if that's actually been built. I mean, if it appears here, then it probably hasn't. Politics. Haha, <laughs> lovely. Uh, now we can get a market. And I would like to make sure that our economy isn't absolutely abysmal for the rest of the game. We'll also get this horseman here. Oh, actually, speaking of... Yeah, we'll send you out. And then can we also get you all the way? We can. Then do it. These two can destroy this unit together. So mostly we're just trying to defend our uh, civilization at the moment from barbarians. We do still have war with Rome, so it's not to say, like, the Romans won't come and attack us. But yeah, we should think about ambitions as well. I mean, the Romans probably do have a city over there. So an idea might be to go and scout that out. To see what it looks like. So we'll send our horsemen here to go and take care of that. Our brave Sir Robin. Brave, brave, brave Sir Robin. And we'll see what we can do. Oh, jeez. Actually, you know, actually... <laughs> you know, actually, 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 yeah, actually, mm. I think I might want to take care of this Roman problem here first. We do have horsemen, though, and we're about to get another here. Excellent. So, we shouldn't be too bad. Oh, we're going to rebuild this. All right, rebuild. I don't want to lose that mine. See, that decision's always worth taking because, you know, like, sometimes those cities are are so difficult to, uh, not buildings, those improvements can be so hard to rebuild. It's well worded, I do say so myself. Was that the symbol of, like, no, that wasn't Revenge of the Sith. I swear that looked like it was the Revenge of the Sith thing. Nerd. Okay, look, here we go. So, floating gardens, no, but bloomery, yes. And what's an attack looking like here? Yeah, it's still looking like it's going to be a few defeats, so... We'll have to get a huge force of cavalry together. I think these guys are still healing. And yeah, we'll have to use those. Hopefully the Romans don't start pillaging too much. You can head there. Keep building that. You can actually head to there. Alright, and we'll see what we can do. Next turn! Uh, it looks like they're going straight for my city, which, you know, pretty typical when it comes to the Romans. Just like, oh, I want to take over straight away, oh. Right. Probably going to lose. Oh! Never mind. Right, second attack. Maybe we win. No, he retreated, but he didn't really do any damage. Ouch. Awesome, and now we can just take out his, uh, his catapults. Sweet. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. 18% chance of losing. Apparently still 80%. Like, you've gotta lose at least one unit when you're fighting the AI, right? Alright. And then you... Actually, who's about to get a promotion? You're about to get a promotion. The horseman's damaged you. Ah, oh, that's why we destroyed them so well. Because we've actually been doing flanking damage. Wow. So we actually could have lost that, and instead we just turned that into an absolute victory. Magnificent. I'm very pleased with that. All right, then we'll continue building this uh, marketplace. But yeah, the Romans don't look very happy now, do they? Six gold. You know what? It still shows that we won. That's what that still tells us, is that we have won the war. It's not an outright victory. But heck, it's it's something. And you can grab that. Yeah man, we've got we've got a good cavalry force here. We might even be able to defend against the um, the might of our enemies. 
when they arise. Plus one road movement. Oh, that's going to be good. That's going to be very good. Can this city build a Colossus? No, it looks like it's already been built, unfortunately. Yeet. Yeet. Um, 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 um. Do we have a spare worker somewhere? Oh, you're down here. Oh, that's just not going to be good enough. Alright, well you can go over there and hook that up next. Because I do want those dies. If the Byzantines go to war with us, that's a different story. But yeah, it, we've got an effective army now. I don't know if I actually want to go down here and conquer... Oh god, it's making it look so easy though. Maybe I will. Alright, you can grab that. It's going to take you a long time. Hey, once you've done this... Uh, who's going to be done sooner? Once you've done that, go there. And we'll figure out what to do with you then. That way I don't accidentally just give him a, a different order. Um, well, let's go take this city. Why not be ambitious, right? I mean, it's an easy city to take. I just don't want to get overextended, but if our stability is fine, which it is, uh, cross the river. Crossing the Rubicon. The Rubicon. Okay, so we've now got that tech. Build, we can build some forts. You know, actually building some forts maybe... Where is it? Building forts here, so on these two tiles, is going to be quite effective for us. So you know what? You keep building that. You're done with that, so you are the first one to finish. Go up there. And in fact, you just keep building that, which you've now done. Uh, probably want to connect it up, don't we? How about you? Can we trade with you? Yes. Yes, we can. Good. We've got some wine now. He's very technologically advanced compared to us, though. Do we really want generalship? We do. To build those forts. Yes. Uh, Alright, give it a go. Come on, baby. You can do it! And you did. You did it. You're probably going to die, though, because that's usually the rules of war. Oh. But apparently we're the exception. Yeah, and I am looking forward to a game of playing as the, um, as the Mongols. That'll be really fun. Oh, look, we can get another uh, bit of experience on this, this unit here. Wow. We're doing well. Like, everything feels really well connected. I'm loving this so far. I was actually a bit scared. I was like, oh, wow, this game's, you know, new and everything feels a bit awkward now. But, hey, it's going well. Now, it'd be nice to start getting some spy power for the future against our enemies. Against our fear. I'm saying our enemies, you know, like, they're, they're coming. They will be here eventually. Um, but you finish that. We don't actually need to hook it up by that. So, you come over here, start on the, uh, yeah, start on the walls. <laughs> the Great Wall of Egypt. Uh, we'll need all of our cavalry back because of these barbarians. Are they actually... They might actually be fine, yeah. So head up to here. Head out. And there we go. That will be an effective cavalry force. Nice. Next turn. Also, I want to try something. Nah, it doesn't work in this game. I was just wondering if the hotkey was A, you know, like for alert or for fortify. But it's not the same in this game. Oh, the Japanese could have played as the Japanese guys. Wouldn't that have been exciting? Oh. Alright, you can uh, skip a turn. And then we'll start on that fort next turn. Right, next turn. So we've got the Western and the Eastern Roman Empire still around. I just realized how risky it was keeping the city uh, undefended. Jeez. Good. Move Drew. Good. We've won a pretty shattering victory there. Oh. Yeah, look at that. Blam. Victorious warriors win first and then go to war. Oh, we could get Conquest. 100% maintenance cost from number of cities. Ugh. That's, yeah, that's plus 100% maintenance cost from number of cities. E. Yikes. Now, nah, I think I'll, I'll give that a miss. <laughs> I'll give it a miss. Don't really need it. Oh, F. 
ethics or ethnics, my bad. Nobility. Oh, oh my god, it is. It is. Look at Star Wars guys. <laughs> okay, elective. We don't really need elective. We are we are people of culture. We will get architecture. We've got Christianity. We've got Catholicism, guys. This is amazing. This means we might even have, like, the, um, what do you call it? The monopoly on Christian wonders in this game. Which, you know, if we do, I'd be very impressed. Alright, you are going to... You know what? Can we get any experience on... Now, I'll try and get you some more experience. Probably won't. Oh, no, you did. It's good, and... But you. No, you're still going to lose that. Wow, actually, now that I think about it, I don't know if we even can win a battle against this. No, we can. There we go. Boom. All right, back to the city for a triumph. And then you can go to that city. Oh, everything's going so well. What could possibly go wrong? All right, now we can build some forts. Wow, they take ages to build. Well, that's that's all right. <laughs> We've still got plenty of time before Islam does arise. Actually, no, we don't. Mm. Yeah, we've got to be very careful. So we're building this jail. I'm actually completely okay with that. So what policies does this have? Oh, I can't see. Ah, uh, do 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 yeah, I won't mind some war elephants. Yeah, what kind of policies you got, buddy? Public? Constitution? Slavery? Redistribution? What kind of madness is this? Alright, we need to heal all our cavalry up. Because, yeah, when they do arrive, we are going to be in a world of hurt. You know what? I'm actually thinking, what will get us to, like, better ranged units? Machinery. Oh, that's quite a while away. Alright, so still go down architecture first. Maybe we could get the Theodosian walls. Oh no, it's orthodoxy, right. Oh, great merchant. Hello there. We could play as the Vikings, but no, we will save that for another game. I had considered playing as the Vikings in this game as well, but no, we'll give it we'll give it a miss for now. War elephant. That'll be a very effective unit to have against the uh, against the Arabians. Plus, we've got this buffer state here, so we're in a pretty good position. Thank you, War Thunder, for locking my view. It's not actually... Um, right, we'll take the unit that's actually fully healed, because this army down here is going to be a little bit of a mess. And we'll also take these two units. Bam. Cool. Love how fast our units are. I'm glad I picked up the tech that gave us... Um, the extra movement on roads. Okay, we don't want him destroying that. At all. Yeah, that's gonna destroy me. Okay. So we have to do this attack. Just need to be careful because some of these attacks can be real. Especially when it's over a river. Good. Alright. Just love the way they ride into battle. It's like, yeah. Alright. Yeah, that's a riskier attack. Although we can destroy it with the archer. It just doesn't work. Good. Beautiful. So very soon, uh, Arabia is actually going to rise up. I'm going to get the uh, versus mounted units. Because they'll have lots of camel archers. Actually, I'm going to get you to attack that. Good. Glad that didn't fail. Uh, yeah, grab that. Clear the forest there. Cool. Some more elephants. I do want this Catholic monastery finished, though. This is very different, though. Egypt is, you know, Catholic. It's almost an oddity. You're down here. Ooh, MP. Yeah, you guys heal up big time. Wow, 
They're actually like, really tough to beat. Eek. Yeah, you can't actually survive an attack. Two turns to that elephant. That's not enough time, is it? Alright, well, you head over here. It's only one, but we'd have to possibly, like, lose a unit doing this. I don't like that very much at all. Because I don't like the idea of him raising this tile. Alright, why is this... Oh, they've got 100% against uh, mounted units, that's why. Actually, you'd be very good at attacking them, so alright, head out. And then next turn we'll see if you can do it. Okay. Oh crap, they could attack straight away. Yeah, that was lucky. Alright, Arabia has gone to war with us. So now we need to buckle up. Buckle up, kid. It's gonna be a bumper ride. Actually, you come here and you can help him finish the fort faster. Oh, yeah, he raised that. He pillaged it. He pillaged my village. <laughs> he pillaged my Oh my. Okay. See if you can do this, mate. Yeah, he's dead. We will use the archer to finish it off. This is like no enemy you've ever faced before. Wow, look at that lovely city. Look at all that. It's so cool. Alright, you head there, and what do we want from this tile? Probably nothing. Probably absolutely zip all. But yeah, we'll see what happens with what the... Um, the Bedouin people are going to do. We'll just keep rebuilding our horsemen. Do we want to play as the Arabians? Wow. <laughs> I've never played as them before. Not in my life. Skirmishes. Now we need horsemen. That's what we really want. Ah, oh, this is not convenient timing. Oh. Now bring everybody up here. Just build me that fort. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I could send out this entire force of cavalry, but we'll wait for them to approach first. In the meantime, though, I'm going to send this elephant here. Now, look, you Byzantines. Don't you dare. So, Arabian Sultans. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, no, we can still finish the fort. But it's not in our territory anymore. Why is that? Jeez, is it still going to take that long to finish it? Far out. Alright, we've got some barbarians to attack. Some barbarians. Sancre Bleu, invaders. Alright. That was pretty painful. That was good though, we kept our unit in full health. Not attack again. Good. And then... The frustration is real. I suppose we can get you to attack. What? You've got to be joking me. Oh, you've got to be joking. Uh, Alright, bring this one down. Yeah. Come on, baby. Oh, come on. Seriously. Wow. Okay. Well, that, <laughs> that was really, really crappy. Yeah. I'm trying to build an armor here to defend against them. I mean, I can't lose this as well. I mean, that's happiness. It's happiness. I can't miss happiness. All right, look. Mm, we're in a bad situation because they're gonna like spawn free armies or something here. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Yeah. I mean, it might not be. I think that's only if it's like occupied by a foreign power or something. Oh, having all these armies though around is just ah. All right, so we finished that fort. 
We don't have enough troops now, though. Oh, you got to be joking. All right, well... We'll have to just go bare bones with our forces. And yeah, we'll just have to heal up. This is going to get pretty, pretty damn tight. Pretty gosh darn tight. Yeah, you guys head back down that way. These workers, however, can go... Hook that up again. Yep, so I'm not sure actually how this works again. Maybe we want some more spearmen, though. Mm, no. Horsemen. Harshmen. Right, they're heading that way. Cool. Right, and they are heading this way now. Go and hook that back up. You heal. Right, we're going to stop them from expanding to the uh, to the west. So Islam will never spread to the west in this world. Which would be quite an interesting scenario, actually. To think about. Uh, what about you? We want to build an academy in this city, actually. That way, we can just pump out more science. Look at that! That is going to give us so much more science. Yes, I'm loving it. But up, 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 uh. You are now here. But what are you doing? You're building a cottage. Are you? Or are you not? Can you even build anything other than... No, apparently not. Alright, we'll send you over here. Maybe we've reached our limit for cottages. Is there a limit now? That'd be an interesting system if, you know, if they were limited. Alright, we're about to get a Catholic church here in four turns. More horsemen being made. The problem is, they're still going to get into our territory because there's a space here. Uh, what does the fort actually give us? So the fort gives us... Uh, what does the fort give you? Nope, that's not the button. That's not the button. So forts. My fort, you ought to know. Improvements. Fort gives 50% extra tile defense, acts as a city for combat purposes. Ooh, cool. Does that mean you have to siege out a fort? Because if so, like, well done, game. That's one hell of a system. I don't think I ever noticed. I never use forts for some reason. Now, you know what would be really cool is waiting for them to stretch themselves out very thin and then going and uh, conquering them. That's what my plan is be definitely one of the strangest worlds I've ever, like, played in. Uh, can we not get another fort here? I guess not. Why can't these guys build more forts? Is it like a tile improvement limit? Byzantium completed uh, the Hagia the Hagia Sophia in that city. Uh, in the city of... Is it Sparta? That is Sparta, isn't it? Here you go. Artisanry. Oh, actually, that means we can get workshops. Ooh, give someone helping us. And actually, doesn't really give us much else. Wow. Yeah. Jeez. Ooh. Destroy the camp. Oh, that's in that tile. Right. My bad. Uh, this tile though. Nah, we'll get we'll get more more cottages in uh, in the desert. Not in the desert. In the flood plains. Yep. Yeah, we're still. At war. It's fine. Everything's fine. How's our stability? Shaky. Shaky but not stirred. Yeah, look at all those workers. I mean, if we just snuck in right now, we could actually take that. Damn. You know? Kind of keen. We won't go with the elephant, though. We'd have to go with a cavalry. Oh. But yeah, that'll be for next time, though, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And make sure to leave a like down below and let me know in the comments how you're enjoying the series and if you have any suggestions. Thank you.